Right then. Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen, to the Tier 2 Season 20 Austrian Grand Prix for the STB Racing League. We're here in the Styrian Mountains here this evening, and let me tell you something. Austria is a great circuit. Rockley starts on pole position. Um, second is F1X David Game. Obviously, if you missed the sprint qualifying, it was another cracker to add to this week's uh, racing. Third, um, Aquasili. Fourth, Sergio. He's had a bit of a moment on the formation lap. That's great stuff there for the Chilean driver. Uh, fifth, Moises. Great qualifying from him there. Sixth, Gian. Great qualifying from him. Seventh, 50 dead. Eighth, Dilemma. Ninth, Crooken. Tenth, Oliveira. Eleventh will be Mafio. 12th, Trolley, 13th, Alex Game, 14th, Vassal, 15th will be Dan Souza. Um, <coughs> excuse me. <coughs> oh, God. 16th will be Shari F1. So, we're here for Austria at the final race before the break week. And, um, yeah, you can see the predicted race strategy powered by AWS. One stop strategy from the softs. Lap 15, 17 is your uh, lap 17 is your pit window. You know what? I'm expecting Rockery to run away with this one tonight. David Gay might be able to give him a bit of a challenge, but to be honest, I don't think that he, his rate, his pace in the sprint uh, qualifying was incredible. And this is his moment. This is his moment for the championship. This is his moment to really solidify um, one hand on that trophy or tier two this season so i'm here for it no rwb and no nikki uh, if you want to do a two-stopper race it's soft soft medium lap 11 to box i don't think that will be necessary for the drivers and then shari is going to pull up to his box now very bizarre having a red ball at the back of the grid but there you go here we go then it's time for the Austrian Grand Prix. No glitch this time. It's three lights. It's four lights. It's five lights. Rockery's already enabled that ERS. And it's lights down. Away they go. Great start from Rockery once again. It's going to be all up into turn one. Who's going to get the positions? We've got the Ferrari up the inside. He's been pushed to the inside. But great little move there from Gian. He's going to try and get in the slipstream now. Moises has got the 50 deads in the slipstream as well. P7 for him. And we've got Arcacilli up the, in Arcacilli up the inside. Mafio's battling with Oliveira down at the back there. Contact, it looked like down on, at the apex. But the Red Bull is through. Bit of contact there on the exit. But David Game needs through up in a P2. Obviously, he's going to get him back now with the, ER, with the ERS. Really going to push hard now. To try and get this move done. Rani outside of turn number four. Dan Souza at the back of the grid. Needs to try and make some moves. And Mafio's lost the position to Alex Game. So not a good start for him. But I'll tell you something, Gian is on a good position. It looks like there's been a spin out. That's Shari. I think he span on his own there. And there's action, action, action. Dan Souza and Trolley's getting pushed to the curb. Trolley's up the inside of the ass. This is in this is insane racing. David Games in the box. Mafio is in the box. Uh, Basil is in the box. Um, David Games in the box. He's got no front wings. Or something's gone on now. I think. Maybe the contact with uh, with Aquasili, um or Sergio on that first half of the race. Basel's in the box. Mafio's in as well. He's changed his front wing as well. He's on to a set of soft compound tyres. The medium, sorry. Wow. Crazy scenes. Anyway, carrying on with the Grand Prix. Cook has had a good start. He's up in a P7. He's solidified some good, good positions here in Austria. So there you go. Love to see that. It looks like the gaps are averaging around six tenths to each driver. So now it's all about just um, settling into the Grand Prix. Just doing what you need to do. But great start there from Rockery. And uh, um, Aquasili is close behind. Nine tenths is the gap. But Crooken has got some decent pace here on these mediums. He's in the sixth stream of 50 dead. But he's saving that ERS as well. Oh, Crooken's passed... Um, sorry, Dilemma's passed Crooken. I'm a bit tired, guys. The sprint qualifiers kind of took it out of me tonight. Um, 
Yeah, crazy scenes, but Dan now battling with his teammate Trolley. And it's just a massive train. It's going to be a massive DRS train. Is that free already? Oh my god. Uh, looks like Trolley's got the move. Been overtaken by his teammate Dan Souza. He's trying to try and go back up the inside. I don't know why you're trying to. I don't know why you're trying to fight this trolley. You're on completely different strategies. And Dan's going longer into this Grand Prix. And you're picking up penalties as well. And he span. Right, there you go. See, it's just not been a good season, has it, for trolley? But anyway. Um, Akosili is in the slipstream stream then on the back of Rockery. Let's see how this battle was going to unfold in this Grand Prix. Hello to all the viewers watching here this evening. We're about to have a very, very intriguing Austrian Grand Prix. I'm here for it front row. It's DRS for the McLaren. All line of stern, all within the DRS, the top 10, all within a second of one another. This is crazy to see. Cook has made a mistake. Olivella's going to have the grip. He's going to have the speed. I think Crooken is the leading medium runner as well. That's good to see also. For the sprint, the drivers were using a lot more ERS. You know, they weren't really using the... And there's a spin out. That's Shari. He's off the circuit. He's made a mistake out the final corner. So the game's going to be through, I think. I'm going to get into the slipstream. We're going to go on the inside of his teammate. Don't collide because that's not good for the constructors, is it? And David uh, Game's up in a P12 now. Disappointing stuff for Mafio. He, he was looking confident before tonight. But, yeah, it's just not... It's just, you know, getting caught in collisions. That's what happens when you start in the midfield or near the back of the grid. You, just, you, you tend to get caught up in those um, those battles that go on. But I'll tell you something, it's really hotting up now. It is really hotting up here in Austria. Really hotting up, but it's not as it, it's not as, as interesting as it was in the sprint. Not as interesting as it was. Oh, look at these! Look at all these drivers. This is why I love coming to Austria. You see all the trees in the background. It's a beautiful setting for a race but there's not many overtakes going on it's just DRS and it gives me a bit of a break so that's good thank you Tia too you give me a bit of a break from speaking and shouting and yelling Moises is in a very good position at the minute yes he's got a penalty right now but he's running in a very strong P4 and Gian as well he's P5 I didn't think I'd ever be saying that. No, not, you know, no offence to the Ferrari, but he hasn't had the best of seasons. He's really shown his worth here in Austria. Like a silly bit of pen on him. It's just DRS, DRS, DRS. You can't make a move. But I'll tell you something, Gian's looking very feisty on the back of that... Um, Alpine, and that's not good on the exit there. And there's been a crash. Mafio is out of the Austrian Grand Prix. He's made a mistake on the final corner. And that's just a disaster for the hash driver. He's going to hope for a safety car later on in the race. But, to, but do you know what? Looking at it at the moment, it's just going to be line of stone for the whole race. Um, it's not boring, but it's not entertaining at the same time, um, if that makes any sense.
Right then, Okasili trying to make the move. And Rocco has gone off the circuit. That's a big mistake there from the Hungarian. And now Sergio is going to get on him as they go up the hill. Here we go. And Rockery has lost that position. But he's up back up the inside. He's back up the inside. All oh, that contact there. Then you've got 50 dead. Moises is getting involved as well. Moises is going for P2 in this race. Is Moises going to go up the inside? No, he's, he, he thinks better of it. But uh, yeah, Rockery really caught napping on that first corner. Really caught napping. Um, Dan looks like he's losing a lot of time. He doesn't have the DRS, of course. We can't stick within that. You can't stick in that DRS train. There's about, well, nine drivers in the DRS train here. Ten, sorry. And Rockery is in the pits. Has he got damage? Has Rockery got damage in this race? We're going to have to find out. Yes, he does. Rockery has damage. What happened there, then? That's bizarre. Here we go, then. 50 dead up the hill. Up the inside of the Ferrari, and he gets that job done. And now he's got the Alpha, the Aston, the Alpha Tauri, sorry, of Dilemma. Oh. Getting, he's, getting really, he's getting really close for comfort here in Austria. Dilemma dives up the inside. It's going to be side-by-side -side action. Oh. And Trolley is out of the race. I think he's retired in the pit lane. But it won't really do much. But great exit here from Sergio. And David Game versus Rockery. They meet again on circuit. Looks like there's been a crash. Well, there's been a and it's been a change of position. This is insane. About five drivers in the space of like one straight. This is crazy scenes. Um, and there is a driver in the pit lane. I think that might be Trolley coming out of the pits. So they've got to watch it on the exit here. That AI driver and Moises has been overtaken by Sergio now. So that is him. And uh, Gion's gone deep. Gion's gone deep into the hairpin and 50 devs now on the back of Dilemma as they come down the straight lap 10 of the race. Here we go. It's incredible. 50 dead up the inside of Dilemma. Dilemma's going to try and hold it around the outside, but great um, placement of his car there from the Alpine. And um, Oliveira's getting involved as well. Alex Game has got VIP seats. This is, this is incredible. This is what I'm talking about. This is Formula One. This is what I'm actually talking about. This is mad. This is... This is crazy. This is mad. This is actually mad. Like, I can't even explain. This is, this is just mad. Right, 50 dead. Sorry, no, Sergio. He's going to be in that DRS of Ocasili now. I keep saying Ocasili. It's Akosili. Um, but here we go. DRS then. DRS for everyone. Dilemma's off the circuit. Crooken is in. Crooken and Oliveira are actually in prime position right now. P6 and 7 on a set of mediums. Mad. Let's see what's going on down the back of the field. Rockery needs to get some points in this race. He needs to do that. I think he's going to go to the end though on those mediums. So he might be able to try and get some positions, but I don't, I don't know. It's, it's going to be difficult now with, this, with all this DRS and stuff. Sergio is going to have it on um, Akosili as well. If I remember rightly, I think the pit is around that 15, is it? Is that correct? Not entirely sure. Alright, Sergio then. He has the DRS. He's going to have it again down the next straight. What about just keeping it, keeping it within the second gap, really? And just keeping it in a slipstream with the DRS. So all, that's all you got to do around Austria. And then pick and then pick your point. Pick your point wisely. Here we go then. Oliveira opens up the hairpin. Dilemma's in the slipstream again, but uh, just like last lap, he can't get past. He's got that DRS.
to be honest, you really got to just bank on someone making a mistake. Talking of a mistake, that's Jihan. And he has, in my words, booked it on the exit of turn five. And that is a disaster for him. Turn four, sorry. I think there's more straight around this uh, track than corners. I love it. Here we go, Sergio, seven tenths the gap. It's coming down every lap. You can see it falling, six tenths now. I can see he's made a bit of a mistake on the exit, on the curb. Yellow flag. And Gion's off the circuit. Gonna have to let everyone go past. Unlucky there, for the Dutch. Dutch month. Here we go, Crooken. He's going to be on the back of Dilemma. Don't make any stupid moves. Because you're in a prime position, Crooken. You're actually in a prime position in this Grand Prix. So don't make any stupid moves. Ricky Dead's on the curb. He's made a mistake. That's going to give Dilemma some opportunity. But he's going defensive for Crooken. So he starts going to be going off and uh, Akosili is in the box. This is mad. This race is mad and Dilemma's made a mistake. This is Crooken's opportunity now to pounce, but he's going to have that DRS. Again, it's going to be DRS, 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 DRS. It's always DRS around Austria. Same with Monza as well. It's always DRS, DRS. You, can't, you just can't find a way past. But in Crooken, there's no need to use it overtake on the exit of corners. And there's a driver that's gone. That Mafio. Maybe Mafio and Shari have had contact there. Not entirely sure, but it's just not been the night, has it, for Mafio? Not been the night for the house driver. Um, dilemma then, P number four. Oh. Yeah, those softs are going to be going off a little bit now. So this is Crooken and Olivella's chance to pounce. Dan needs to stop getting penalties. And Sergio is in the box. Here we go. Here we go, Dilemma on the back of 50 Dead. But 50 Dead's going to have the DRS again on Moises. This is this is how the race is panning out here in Austria this evening. It's just about the DRS. Right, it's going to be interesting now. Is Rockery going to jump Sergio? Yes, he is. David Games close as well. So the battle is back on. A Rockery might still get up in a P1, but is he going to get to the end of the race on those mediums? Um, the way that he needs to to try and keep the lead of this race. We're going to find out when Moises, 50 Dead and Dilemma box. Where where he'll be in comparison to those guys. Uh, Moises then leads the Austrian Grand Prix. And he's going to go into the pits. Now, you've got to follow the line. You have to follow the line through. You can't Cut the pit lane. Here we go. Dilemma's looking feisty. Sector 1 yellow flag. There's a driver off the circuit. That's Shari in the middle of the track. And Dilemma. Is he going to go for the move? No, but Crooken's around the outside. Don't make any stupid moves, Crooken. This is the opportunity. Don't make any stupid moves. Here we go then. He's got Crooken's got to hope that these two box. So then he's free and clear air. There's some battling going on here. We've got David Game and Moises. Side by side down the straight. Moises got the DRS. Clean, clean move there. Clean through. Right then, is Guy 50 Dead and Dilemma going to box with a set of mediums? 50 Dead. And Dilemma's cut across the pits there. Falcon's continued, Oliveira's continued. 
wow. Just wow. This race has been... This race has been wow. Like, it's just been insane. Dilemma then, both in the box. Rockery. So they've actually lost a lot of time. Yeah, they've lost a lot of time there. They were battling as well. And David Game has come out just with 50 dead here. Here we go. David Game is going to try to go around the outside. He's gone very, very deep. Dilemma's through. David Game's going to move out of his way. Watch out for Alex Game as well. He's on the back. We've got David Game and Alex Game. Great stuff. Oh, that was aggressive. That was aggressive. That was a very late break move there. That was very late on the brakes. But what a... Wow, there you go. Look at that. Up in a P10 goes Alex game. And he's passed David game. Great stuff. Great racing. Right. I don't know why, but Sergio is three seconds behind Akosili here. I'm not entirely sure why that is the case. Not sure. But Rockery is catching Sergio. He's in that DRS. And Dilemma. Here we go. Battling with Dan Souza. Dan's had it. I, I, I don't know why, but he's not got the pace tonight. Um... Don't know if he's got damage. We are halfway through the Austrian Grand Prix. I don't know if he's got damage or he's struggling or something's gone on because he just can't get that car to turn. He just can't. I don't know if he's not got the grip because the tyres are really worn. I don't know, but it's not good for Dan Sullivan. You can see the tyres are quite worn, actually. But Oliveira then. Right on the back of Crooken. This is the moment for Oliveira. Up into P1. And he picks up a freezer can type on it for going wide. That's so funny. I'm sorry, that's actually really ridiculous from the game. But, yeah. Gian and Shari are going side by side. They're going at it at the back of the grid. If they don't get in the way of other drivers. And Crookin's back past Oliveira as well. I expect them to maybe box next lap, if not the lap, this lap. This lap or next lap. A set of those soft compound tyres. Yeah, I think it might be next lap then. Oliveira back in the DRS. Oh, did you see that? Oh, Oliveira's left the session. Um, okay, let's try and get him back in. Guys, I'm, I'm actually really sorry, but I'm actually really tired from this race. It's actually been so much action. Uh, from this Grand Prix, it's actually been crazy. Nafio picks up another... Penalty, and I think Oliveira's going to go for another lap, you know. Sector 2 yellow, something's happened, someone's, someone's out! Shari is out! No, he's not, he's in the barriers. Sorry, I thought he retired from the session. No, he's in the barrier, he's in the armco, and he's, he's crashed it onto the gravel trap. Not been the race for Shari, has it? And Oliveira is in the pit lane. Okay, um, I don't know about that. Oh, and they've gone on to, he's gone on to another set of mediums. Oh, Oliveira. Oh, no, Oliveira. Oh. He lagged out of the session. Action's going on. Dan Sools is in the box as well. Oliveira lagged out of the session and they've put him onto another set of mediums.
I have zero. I actually have zero words. I am. I'm sorry. I, I, I actually have zero words. I don't have anything to say. Absolutely ridiculous. Um, Basil has span at the first corner. Gian's letting lap cars go past. Race has kind of calmed down a bit now. Rocky can't get himself past Sergio. My arm, because of leaning, is really hurting. This is not good, guys. Really, really don't feel the best right now, I'm not going to lie. Is this race, but like yesterday, Tier 1 was absolutely crazy. And now, this race, Tier 2, is crazy. Like, there's nothing... There's no other words to describe. And I think Basil is really struggling. I think he may have damage. But Crookens continuing on. That Crookens in the box then. Safety car. No, it's not my waiting. Okay. Mediums. Mediums for Crooken. Huh? He's gone on to another set of mediums. Huh? I'm confused, ladies and gentlemen. I don't know what's going on, but Rockery now right on the back at Sergio. This is the battle that we are looking for then for the Austrian Grand Prix. Sergio, 1.3 seconds behind uh, Aquacilia. I keep calling him Aquacilia, I don't know why. Look at the ERS that Aquacilia's got, that's mad. And Sergio is really using his ERS here, and Rocker is going to go up the inside! This is for P2! Of the Austrian Grand Prix. Sergio's going to try and get back on the exit. But Sergio's got literally no power down the straight. No power whatsoever down the straight. He can't battle that. And Rockery is up into two. Of this Austrian Grand Prix. Look at that. That's what I'm talking about. Back up in a P2. I told you that the strategy would work out for him. But I don't know why Crooken... This is what I don't get. I don't get why Crookens box for a set of mediums again. I don't know why that's taken place. Definitely a glitch from the game. Definitely a glitch from the game. Here we go then, Rocker is in the DRS. It's going to be DRS again. DRS central again. And Oliveira. And he can't spin his car back round. Ugh. <sighs> not been the day, has it? It's not been the day for some of these drivers tonight. I feel for Oliveira. I feel for Crooken. You know I feel for Dan Sorcerer as well because P9 is not um, 
yeah, P9 is not the, uh, it's not his pace. Right, what can we then? P2. We're going to have a very interesting end to this race. It's going to be interesting to see who's going to get where in this race. Watch out for Sky50 Dead as well. He's got no penalties. He could win this race. If everything goes well for him and he you know, keeps it clean, Sky50 Dead could get his first, get his maiden STB win. Virtual safety car has been deployed. Oh, about racing. I don't know whether Rocco's tyres are going to go off at the end of the race. I don't know. I don't know how his tyres are looking percentage-wise. They are looking quite worn from the appearance of the tyre. Watch out for 50 dead and watch out for Sergio because he's going to be riding about now. And uh, Akosili is trying to get the move done back on Rockery. Try and get the. There you go, switch back move. Can't get it done. Sergio's going to get involved as well. Watch out for 50 dead. Watch out for 50 dead. This could be the moment for the Mexican. This could well be the moment. Here we go. Akoseli back in the slipstream. DRS. Oh, that was aggressive there. That was very aggressive from the McLaren. He's pushed Rockery off the circuit. Here we go, Sergio in the slipstream then, down into the next corner, watch out for 50, dead and Sergio! Oh my god, he took out the 100 meter boys, got up the inside, and he span! Sergio has span out of the Austrian Grand Prix. Wow, would you look at that. Tried going for that audacious move up the inside and just couldn't do it. That's unfortunate, you know. So that's, I don't know, I was rooting for Sergio getting some good racing going, but Sky 50 dead, would you look at that? If he gets no penalties, Sky 50 dead. That's mad. That's actually mad. If Sky 50 dead wins this Grand Prix, that would be the surprise of the century. He started P7, so he got two points from the sprint race. With the sprint qualifying. I could set it up the inside then. Waiting for the DRS, the next one. 
Oh, Sky 50 dead, look at this! Rocker is going to go to the inside line. Sky 50 dead's up the uh, No, not Sky 50 dead. Akutan, no! Rocker is out! Rocker is out of the race! Oh my god, there was contact! With, um... And virtual safety car has been deployed. Oh no. Rockery and Akosili collided in the middle of the uh, middle of the corner on the apex, and now Rockery's got no front wing. Oh, that is. He's going to be absolutely fuming. He's going to be absolutely livid. Rocker is going to be fuming. Yeah, he's going to be up. Yeah, he's going to be really, really fuming. Front wing then for the Ferrari. Virtual safety car has ended. And David Game and Rocker might sneak back on circuit, but I don't think they will. And Sky 50 Dead has taken the lead of the Austrian Grand Prix. Now this is something for the memories. This is something for that Hall of Fame book. Rockery is going to be fuming. He is going to be fuming. Rock is going to be going to be pissed as well. Lap 32 of the Austrian Grand Prix then. Sorry guys, I'm, I'm feeling a little bit, um, I don't know, just a bit tired from this race. It's been um, very action-packed. It's been a very action-packed evening. So I do apologise um, for me not having the most energy at the back end of this race. But it has been... Um, for some reason, I just don't feel very well. Oh, might be the excitement of all these uh, battles. But, um, yeah, it, it's been a great race so far. Unlucky for some. But, uh, yeah, Guy 50 Dead is on for his maiden STB victory. I'm, I'm thinking it's his maiden one. And Rocker is got out two seconds on Alex GT game this lap alone. It's the fastest lap, so he's going for that fastest lap point. Yeah, Rocky is really pushing hard to try and get the gap out to David game. He has got a penalty. Gap's now two seconds and Akos silly now. He's going 50 dead. Has not got much ERS as Crooken has overtaken David Game. So that's why Rocker is really um, yeah, getting a lot of time out uh, on David Game. They've been battling him and Crooken. So. That's fair enough there. Right then. All 50 Dead needs to do is keep it clean, no penalties, keep it on the track, keep it clean, and he has won the Austrian Grand Prix. Wow. That's the only word that I have. Wow. Like, if Guy 50 Dead keeps it clean, no penalties, in the next two laps of this, the next two laps in the sector. No one. I, I was not expecting this. But uh, Akostili's picked up another penalty and trying to go around the outside of Sky 50 dead. Great defending. And now Dilemma and Sergio are going at it. Out of turn four. And 
And there you go, live on to fight another day. Two more laps remain of this Austrian Grand Prix. Six more sectors to go. Lap 35 of the race and Akosili. I don't know what's going to happen between him and Rockery. There's going to be some tension. They're both mates. They're both friends. I know each other personally. But I think there might be a little bit of, uh, of words between them after this race. Because the collision with, between them has definitely cost Rockery some viable points for this championship. But Rockery did get, as we can see, he qualified uh, P1. So he did get the full eight points from the sprint. So that is crucial as well. Um, he'll, he'll, he'll enjoy that dilemma! Has had a collision with Sergio. Sergio continues. Dilemma's carried um, on through the gravel trap. I think he may have damage to that Alpha Tauri. There was damage. There was contact, rather. And that is that. That continues the rivalry between CRS and F1X. Very strong rivalry between those two esports teams or those two uh, communities. So, yeah, there you go. Right then, final lap of the Austrian Grand Prix. And Akosili is going to go for this move. No, he's not. He's going to wait for the next straight. He has not got this win, though. He hasn't got the win. The win is going to go to 50 dead. But is it? Because it's going to be late late lap drama. Here we go. Akosili around the outside. Great defending there from 50 dead. Great defence there from the Alpine. He's just... Oh, look at this. Akosili can't get past. And this is it for the Mexican. This is it. Using all of his ERS up. And Akos City has no answers. Who would have thought this? Ak um, Sky 50 Dead comes round the final corner to win the Austrian Grand Prix. 50 Dead is your winner. Third provisionally is going to be Sergio. Might be some student intervention there. But Alex GT Game will finish P3 in the end. Fourth will be Sergio. Fifth will be Dilemma. Sixth will be Rockery. Seventh, Crooken. Eighth, David Game. He actually hits Matthew there. Great stuff. Wow, there was um, a good few uh, collisions there as Matthew has been given a 20 second time penalty for leaving. That's great stuff. We love Codemasters. Shari then going to come around the final corner. Get for the Bulgarian. He will finish in P11. That is your Austrian Grand Prix for Season 20. And I'll tell you something, that was a very enjoyable race, but a very bad race. You know, not the best of luck for drivers like Mafio and Dan Souza here this evening. Oh, I'm knackered. Austria has done it for me. Austria has... I don't even know. Austria has just completely messed me up. Physically. I'm so tired. So much action. But Sky50 Dead is your race winner. He's made an F1 victory. Great stuff. Absolute great stuff there for the Mexican... Second rockery and third was Alex Game. Well, I'm going to get these into the party. Quick little interview. Actually, we don't think we can. Akosili can't speak English, so that won't happen. But 50 Dead is your race winner for the Tier 2 Austrian Grand Prix. Second, um... Sorry. Second was Akosili, third Alex Game, fourth Sergio, fifth F1X Dilemma. They'll both be in the stewards, I think. A lot of investigations to take place between those two drivers. Sixth Rockery, he'll be he'll be having words with Akosili. Seventh F1X David Game, eighth Crooken, ninth Jihan, 
Uh, tenth for Mafio, that'll be sorted out with stewards. That there was a penalty there for Mafio. Um, eleventh, Shari, your non finishers. Dan Souls out, Moises, Oliver out, uh, Basu and Trolley. That is your tier two Austrian Grand Prix live from the Styrian Mountains. That was a that was an enjoyable race. That was very enjoyable, very fun, very good. Uh, unfortunate for some drivers that got caught up in collisions. Uh, but that is that. Thank you for joining me here tonight, guys, for the Tier 2 Austrian Grand Prix. Uh, tomorrow, we have the Tier 3 Austrian Grand Prix. And then next week, there is no break week. But do join us uh, for, I believe, the week commencing the 25th. Whatever week the 25th of April lands in, we go to the Paul Ricard Circuit in France for Round 9 at the French Grand Prix. So until next time you join us, have a great one and goodbye from Austria. We'll see you next time.